So I just realized this is my first Arby's car review. Head west. Well, I'm parked. She interrupted me, but I was going to say, I have to say my iconic line for the first time in this car. Well, it's not my line. It's Arby's line, but <laughs> I embody it. We got the mates. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I got some sunglasses to put over my glasses. <laughs> because sometimes that Florida sun is too much. So Arby's dropped three new sliders, okay? I'm gonna be taste testing them, giving you my honest opinion, rate them from one to 10, and let you know if they're worth trying. And of course, I'm gonna get a side and a drink and possibly a dessert, because I'm quite hungry, and sliders are tiny. Head south, then your destination will be on the left. Stop attacking me! Gosh, let me turn this off. Exit. Thank you. She is so demanding. So they are called the bourbon barbecue sliders, okay? So there's a roast beef slider, a chicken slider, and a country style rib slider. They also brought back the country style rib sandwich, but I've had that in the past, so I'm not trying it today. And they also brought back the pecan chicken salad sandwich, which looks nasty disgusting. I've never had it. I don't want to try it. <laughs> Sorry, and it's old anyway, so you can try it if you want to. So yeah, I'm gonna get the three sliders and possibly loaded fries, or oh, maybe mozzarella sticks. <laughs> Should I go there? Arby's mozzarella sticks are the best in the fast food game. That's not saying a lot though, because only a few places have mozzarella sticks, but they eat. Okay, so let's just go through the drive through. Hey, we are off. By the way, Florida is really stormy today. I mean, Florida's always a mess in multiple ways, but today it's extra messy. The streets are, are very puddly and kind of scary to drive through, but I went a little slower, played it extra, extra safe. I mean, I'm always a very safe driver, but I was just extra, extra careful today. And now we're gonna go through the drive through. Okay, here we go. Um, can I get the bourbon barbecue, uh, rib slider? Okay. And can I also get the bourbon barbecue roast beef slider? Okay. And also the bourbon barbecue chicken slider? No problem. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, and can I also get mozzarella sticks? Four pieces. Six. six piece. Okay. And um, a large diet coke. Okay. Should I get dessert? Um, and and a cherry turnover. And that's all. 1963. Thank you so much. Okay, so guys, I got a lot of food. I can always save it, bring it home. Hello. I couldn't find it. Oh, hell yeah. I found it. No problem at all. Don't worry about that. One second. Gotta find my wallet. Here you go. Thank you. Any sauce? Uh, ranch? That's it? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. you. Perfect. He's kind of a zani. <laughs> <laughs> I am too, though. I just did arm day. Oh yeah, I'm not covering crumble again today only because this came out, so I have to cover this. I'm sorry, like crumble comes out every week, so it's like the backup plan. Does that make sense? If like nothing else comes out, then I cover crumble. Please don't be mad at me, I'm just being honest. This Diet Coke is a, it's very, it's very McDonald's-y, very sharp. I look like I'm talking to myself. So this in here is the cherry turnover, guys. I'm so excited. The good thing about filming on rainy days is that 
my camera doesn't overheat. So we love that. Thank you so much. You. Have a great day. Oh, hey girlies. Let's go. I think I'm gonna park on the other side. Oh! Oh, this is pretty good lighting. Ah, oh, I found that. I got it. Pause. Give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It really helps me out for real. And it's the easiest way to support me, okay? Also, subscribe if you're new here. I taste test all the new fast food items. It's a great time, so yay. The bag is leaking. It's fine. You know who I was watching today that I love so much? Steph Papas. You guys don't know how much I love her. I'm like obsessed. She's so beautiful. I love her speaking voice. It's so soothing. That's cute. Are my doors locked? No, they're not locked. Lock. Okay. Oh, by the way, I wanted to address something. Sometimes when, when the fast food employees do not say anything, when I pull up to the drive through speaker, I'm like, hello. And I did not know that that was like bad drive through manners. I'm, I'm still very new to the drive through, but you guys let me know that if they're not talking, then they're probably busy. So you just have to wait. And so now I know that I'm never going to do it again. I'm so sorry about that. And thank you for letting me know for real. Okay. Where's my table? Oh, before I forget, let's talk about the prices, right? So each of the sliders were $2 and 49 cents. I think that's fair. I mean, depending on the size. Let's see how big they are, right? Okay, so we have the mozzarella sticks. You guys don't even know how good Arby's mozzarella sticks are. One of the best fast food items in the game. I'm not joking. Just incredible. Woo! That is going to be messy. It's giving Rhea Town. Guy Fieri has Flavor Town. I have Rhea Town. This one feels really, really tiny. I mean, this one feels bigger. Okay but they all look a mess. We love that. Let's first take a bite of my mozzarella stick. Mm, that's a thumbnail too. Mm. Ah! Mmm. <laughs> They don't even need marinara. In fact, I don't like Arby's marinara sauce. Mm, mm. I'm not used to eating mozzarella sticks when they're this hot and stretchy. I always get scared of choking. <laughs> I'm like, crunch. Okay, so let's see which slider this one is. <gasps> the roast beef, you guys know. I love Arby's roast beef, even though it looks kind of like skin. <laughs> it is iconic. So, these sliders have the bourbon barbecue sauce, roast beef, onion rings, and pickles. Wow. Honestly, it is tiny, but it looks delicious. Now, is it worth $2.50? Maybe. We'll see. Mmm. Mm. R. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I didn't try it with the ranch. I forgot. It was too good. So. That was fantastic. Arby's roast beef is a delicacy. Okay. It doesn't taste like deli roast beef. It has its own flavor. It's very salty, meaty, delicious. I love it so much. And it works so well with all the toppings. First of all, the bun is very soft and we love that. The bourbon barbecue sauce is 
extremely tangy, very vinegary. It's like normal barbecue, but less sweet, more sour. And we love that. I don't taste the bourboniness of it all, to be honest, but I love that strong, tangy, vinegary, acidic vibe. Fantastic. The pickle just adds to that and it adds a nice fresh crunch that is much needed. The onion rings are pretty good. They don't add a lot. Like you can't taste them that much, but they do add a nice kind of like breaded texture, you know? It was great, very strong. I'm gonna give the roast beef one an 8.5 out of 10, okay? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> No, you know what? I'm gonna use this bag to probably save food, so let me put the trash in my actual trash bag. And yes, I have a trash bag here. <laughs> okay, so next up, let's try whichever one this one is. Could be chicken, could be prime rib. We shall see. So messy. Ooh, it's the prime rib one. See, it has like a chunk of rib on there. Okay, ooh, this one is such a mess, girl. Get your act together. So it seems to only have one big rib on it. Yeah, it has one rib, which is kind of an issue just because, wait, hold on. Oh. Because half the sandwich doesn't have any meat. See, that's a big issue. Okay, let us try it. Ugh. I don't want any more of that. Ew! <sighs> I just remembered how nasty Arby's ribs are. Truly disgusting. So, the issue here is the smokiness. Now, I'm all for a nice smoky rib. A nice smoked piece of meat, right? Because I'm a man. But when it tastes like fake smoke, like processed smoke, like smoke flavor or like smoke, smoke extract that has been added to it, it's disgusting. It just really tastes like a burnt tree, but like not in a good way, like a burnt fake tree, like burnt plastic or something. It tastes horrible. It's just, it's so overpowering. It takes over the onion rings, takes over the sauce, takes over the bun, takes over everything. I really despise Arby's ribs. Horrible. Now, it's not disgusting in the sense that, like, oh my gosh, I, like, I have to spit this out. You know what I mean? It's just disgusting in the sense that I just don't want to eat it again. I would never order it again. I don't want another bite. It's not good, in my opinion. Also, the texture is kind of rubbery. It isn't really, like, a tender piece of rib, you know? So, I'm gonna give the rib slider a 2 out of 10. Okay. Mm. Next up. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's try the chicken version. Ooh! Okay. So, it seems to just have a big chicken tender on it. See? So it's not like a chicken filet. Interesting. Okay. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh! Or... They put a lot of sauce. I'm grateful for that. Wow. Wow. They ate. They ate. Oh my goodness. Wow. So, first of all, the chicken tender breading goes so well with the sauce. It sinks into it, yet it stays crunchy. 
phenomenal. The saltiness from the chicken tender with the sweetness and the tanginess from the sauce is like, oh, it's almost like a salt and vinegar chip. Oh, it's fantastic. It works so well. They put so much sauce on this one and I loved every single drop. I could like fully taste the sauce here and it almost has a cherry flavor to it. It's like a really sour cherry and it's just amazing. It works so well with the roast beef and the chicken one. I definitely recommend both of those. I'm gonna give the chicken one, I think a 10 out of 10. I wouldn't change a thing. Fantastic, so two the slider slayed me. One was trash. I don't recommend the rib one. I'm impressed, I really am. So now, let's have dessert. We have the cherry turnover. If you haven't had Arby's turnovers, you are missing out, girl. Look at that. The only bad thing about these turnovers is that they cause tons of crumbs, so. I'm just gonna eat it over my little table. Mm. Mm. Not too crummy today. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's so crummy. Oh. Oopsie. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. This cherry filling is incredible. Mm. Mm. Let me pause. That cherry filling, that genuinely tastes like a homemade cherry pie. I'm not joking. At least the filling does. It's like, it doesn't taste like a processed cherry pie filling. It tastes like a legit fresh. You can really feel the texture of the cherries as well. It's kind of tart, not too sweet. And then the crust is super flaky, almost like a guazon. And then the icing is just so sweet and drizzled on. It's just the perfect balance. But anyways, I'm not here to critique that because I've had that a thousand times. It's amazing though. So anyways, let me know in the comments below. Do you guys plan on trying Arby's new sliders? If you do, tell me all of your thoughts. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Oh, oh, oh.